an example about pole placement. All right, so pole eigenvalue placement, basically, if you haven't watched this video, watch my video about pole eigenvalue placement on my channel. Um, it is this one, pole eigenvalue placement, lectures on control systems. Basically, we use pole uh, eigenvalue placement to make A minus BK Hurwitz. And it is uh, basically you can use this method or optimal linear quadratic control to make things Hurwitz for state feedback and output feedback uh, control. All right, so here is the code. Um, I am going to get help for state feedback from this my video, which is here state and output feedback control of linear systems around 5.16. 5 minutes and 16 seconds, I discuss um, state feedback, feed, feed, board, uh, feed forward approach. So in this approach, for example, we consider x that equals to x plus bu, y equals to cx. For state feedback, I am assuming x is measurable. So here is my simulation setup. Uh, simulation length is 10 seconds. This is a discretization, first order earlier method. And this is my A matrix 0, 1, 0, 0. Yeah, you can consider another system matrix and use the same code. B is 0, 1, and C is 1, 0. You can think this as um, car dynamics with no friction, with unit mass, and uh, output is the position, and control is the force that you apply to the cart. And basically, Initial state I am choosing to be 1 and minus 1. Position is 1 meters and um, velocity is minus 1 meters per second. And output is, uh, this basically initializes the output as well. And I will need this for the later for output feedback. Right now I am considering state feedback. So we choose K1. Um, you need to choose K1 to make A minus B K1 Hurwitz. So I am using MATLAB's, MATLAB's place command. I am putting matrix A, matrix B. Here I am choosing my eigenvalues, uh, basically desired eigenvalues, such that when I close the loop with K1, A minus B, K1 will have eigenvalues at minus one and minus two. And I am choosing K2, basically according to this formula that you see to make this identity. Again, uh, I will not go dive into details. The purpose of this video is to do a MATLAB simulation example. Uh, if you want to learn the theory, you watch this video. So here is a simulation environment. Here is my control signal, minus K1x plus K2c. Here, basically this one. Um, I commented things that I will uh, open it up later in the video when I do output feedback. Let's focus on state feedback. Here is the system, x equals to x that equals to ax plus bu in discretized form. Here is the output position. I would like to drive position to this command 1. And since I satisfy this expression, this should happen. And here is it for data recording purposes. And here for the plotting purposes, I will not dive into the details. You know, you can uh, stop the video, copy the code, or arrange it for your needs so that you can take it from here. All right, first of all, um, when I choose my eigen, eigen values for A minus B, B, K to be minus one and minus two, here is the system response. Let's simulate. All right, let me put it here. Red is the command that we would like to track. X1 behaves like this. Second state behaves like this, velocity state. And control signal behaves like this. So basically, I converge to the command around four seconds. This is kind of expected because I am the convergence um, depends on the uh, eigenvalue that is closest to the imaginary axis. So in this case, you know, for settling time, you can use this formula for divided by absolute value of this smallest eigenvalue. Then I converge around four seconds. If you would like to converge, for example, in Two seconds, make it two, and choose another eigenvalue. Why not four? So smallest eigenvalue becomes two. Now I should expect to converge to this command around two seconds. Um, let me don't close it, and let me basically re redo this. I am pressing the run. 
So as you see here, the second one, I am converging to this command around two seconds on a ballpark. And this is a fast convergence. If you like this response, use these eigenvalues. Likewise, if you would like to convert it slower, change the smallest eigenvalue. If you make it the eigenvalue that is close to the imaginary axis to be 0.5, you expect to converge to this command around eight seconds. Let's run this. All right, so you converge around eight seconds. I plot things to on top of each other, but I believe you got the main idea. And uh, for the rest of this video, I would like to go with one and two. So our system basically eigenvalue uh, closest to imaginary axis or is minus one. So I expect to converge uh, around four seconds. So this is what happens with basically state feedback. Now for output feedback, this is the same video, um, state and output feedback. You can look at the later part of this video around 17.59 seconds. Now I will, let's assume X is not measurable. So if X is not measurable, I need to replace X with X hat. So I no longer use this control signal. I am enabling minus K1, X hat plus K2C. And X hat is estimated through this Lomberger observer. So I am also en enabling this observer here. All right, so look at A X hat, B U L Y minus C X hat. Exactly this, uh, I mean, discretized version of this uh, equation here. And I also need to choose L. So I am choosing K1 to make A minus B K1 Hurwitz. And now I am choosing um, um, L to make A minus L C Hurwitz and in, the in that regard I am just enabling this part of the code. I am first going to choose the same eigenvalues and observe what happens. Okay, let's basically simulate this system. Um, what's wrong? Yes, I forgot to initialize the Lohenberger observer. Since I may not know uh, the initial basic values, I am just using 0, 0. In fact, the first state is available to you, so you can choose this to be one, but second state is not measurable. So uh, if you don't know something, you can choose it to be zero. So let me run this code. All right. So if you remember with eigenvalues minus one and minus two, for state feedback, our x1 was converging to command around four seconds. Right now, if you look at it, it is converging around eight seconds. And you may wonder why, why we slowed down. The reason is we are doing now output feedback. Let's, um, sorry about that. I am using this 16.9 ratio for recording. Um, okay, 16.9. Um, okay, if you look at this error dynamics, right? So here x tilde dot is the difference between x and x hat, observation error. So this observation error dies depending on the eigenvalues of A minus LC. Right now, since we also choose eigenvalues of LC to be minus one, minus two, this error dynamics also dies around this settling time TS for divided by closest, uh, absolute value of closest eigenvalue to the imaginary axis, so four seconds. So it takes four seconds for this uh, x tilde dot x tilde dynamics to die. Now, x tilde also affects the first uh, upper level, right? B k one. Once x tilde dies, B k one dies. So now, after this term dies, then system behaves close to the state feedback performance. And so, if you want to recover the state feedback performance, you need to make this x tilde dot equals to a minus l c x tilde dynamics to die out faster. And as a rule of thumb, based on experience, I usually choose the eigenvalues of L to be five times or more greater than the eigenvalues of minus one, minus two. Or if you put here minus two, minus three, five times more than minus two, minus three. Now, if you do that, let me open my figure here. Okay, I will plot on top of each other. Now, I, I've just multiplied five. So my smallest eigenvalue for A minus LC become five, four divided by ABS minus five. So basically error dynamics should die around 0.8 seconds, much faster than the 
uh, basic eigenvalues of a minus bk. Let me run it. Here you go. So since this error dynamics dies out faster, you on a ballpark converge faster uh, than the first case, which is kind of close to the uh, state feedback performance while doing output feedback. If you multiply this by 10, let's run it, you will convert slightly faster. So you better recover the um, state feedback performance. So the key is when you implement uh, you want x hat to converge to x faster and choosing the eigenvalues of L larger than the eigenvalues of this basically makes this happen. You basically make x minus x hat to die out first so basically x hat will start to, to act like x as fast as possible so that you recover the state feedback performance. All right. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment, and I hope you will find this video useful. If, if so, like it, comment it, um, as well as, uh, like several of you do, give me some suggestions on new topics, then we can go from there. All right. Take care.